Universal today. I want to go on Spider Man. I, w I really want to go on One Fish, Two Fish. The main priority is. We're going to try and get our Horror Nights tops today because we're going to do Stay and Scream tomorrow, so we want to make sure we've got all the right gear for that. Other than that, it's an open book, so uh, yeah, yes, let's do it. So we tried to go to the Lone Palm the other night after we went to Margaritaville, but apparently everything shuts kind of early on Monday and Tuesdays at City Walk. They were saying like during non horror nights nights it's just really quiet so there's no point in staying open yeah there's no foot traffic yeah which is a shame really but um yeah want to know for next time so here we go heading into islands of adventure loving the music as we walk in it's one of those that hits me in the feels every single time definitely going to be listening to like just i'm just going to find a video on youtube and start listening to it yeah. the <laughs> moment i get home does anyone just like have an obsession with collecting the theme park map every single day? Laura will tell you it's for uh, like cooling down on the fan, but I'm not too sure. It. Oh, thank you. <laughs> they change the map every day, I think. We have a bag with 60 maps in it at home, and they're all the same. They're not all the same, they're from different years. <laughs> Domination, press one. <laughs> they just announced the villains have taken over the Daily Bugle, so let's see if we can see them. Scratch that, Spider Man's a 20 minute wait, so the villains will have to hang on for now on this ride. Look at that hair, it's beautiful. Mark Trowbridge has earned the certificate for outstanding achievement in photographing pointless stuff for 20 years. Spider-Man, I forgot how good that was. Yeah, just as good as I remember it being like, I don't know, Spider-Man vs Trans Transformers, I'm Team Spider-Man all the way. Spider-Man. Yeah. Uh, my favourite bit is where the, I don't know what the character's name is, but it's the guy with the fiery, the guy with the fiery pumpkin head. Oh. <laughs> is it the Green Goblin? Is it the Goblin who throws the pumpkin? Yeah, yeah. The guy with the fiery pumpkin head, I think it's the Green Goblin, and he throws the second pumpkin and the fire comes out. So cool. Yeah. Wait time, we probably waited more like half an hour, um, which is fine. That only ten minutes more than posted. Quite enjoyed the aircon as usual, so I was I was fine with it. Distracted by the cartoons that will have shown in the little pre-show bit. Yeah, we're just going to do one fish, two fish now. It's one of them rides that nobody else really cares about, but for some reason it has a day of place in our hearts. It does. For the first time, we went on it in 2018. I can't wait to get back. So we're just heading into Seuss Landing now. I love this land, it's so bright and colourful and a fun fact, there's no straight lines on normal. No, I think it is, there's no straight lines at all in this land. You've stolen my fun fact, I was going to say. Obviously you can't tell, but it smells delicious here. Well. <laughs> might be green eggs and ham. I love this, it's good for big kids too. Here we are, coming up to one fish, two fish now. Oh, some air con just flew out, that was nice. Oh, look at it go. as well and it's meant to stop you getting wet but yeah I, I try to avoid the instructions to get all the time yeah always oh, fun so we've just got our 
one fish, two fish, and we've decided to come and get some dinner from Green Eggs and Ham. And we'll show you when we've got it. Four. Can I get a name for the order? Brian. So I've gone for the carnitas tots, which is scallions, jalapenos, uh, pulled pork, diced tomato, and uh, tater tots with a white cheese sauce. We've always gone for the pizza tots, which is pepperoni, sausage, cheese, uh, a little bit of marinara in there as well, I think. Yeah, that's right. Basically pizza fries, but with tots instead of fries. Um, they do make these fresh, which is good and bad because uh, Laura had to wait a long time to get these whilst I got us a table, but they are piping hot and yeah, Laura, nearly, Laura nearly burnt her fingers off. She had to stop at a table at the midway point. Yeah, so we're going to eat these now. We'll let you know what we think. Just taking the first couple of bites, I can safely say this is the best theme park food I've had on the trip so far. Laura agreed. So we've never eaten here before, but I really enjoyed that. It was so fresh, as we said, it took a while to be made, but well worth the wait. I definitely recommend coming here if you like tater tots. There's quite a few different selections you can get now. So we've just headed into the All Hallows Eve boutique. I've seen quite a few videos about it. Some of the little things that you can't buy, but the added decorations I think are so cute. Really nice traditional old Halloween. We have a familiar face, but now on a body. A little bit. Hi. I like how they use little Gerards as well. Here we are, Hogsmeade for the helicopter. Yeah, the sun's actually gone in at the moment, so it could, it could be snowing. So we're just walking through Hogsmeade now, and the crowd level's not actually too bad. Universal now we'll see what happens not sure if we mentioned this the other day but we've basically gone for an offer that Universal are currently doing and that is if you buy a gift card and put $300 on it you can get an offer for uh, a free wand basically non-interactive and it is only a charge of four which will pop the footage in here um, but it is nonetheless a free wand and this is you know it's actually a pretty cool design to be honest. It's not associated with anyone. She said literally it was a Death, Death, Eater. Eater. Death Eater skull. <laughs> on, on here, on the box, it does say Death Yeah, so Eater. just generic. So generic Death Eater. Yeah, there's but, also Ginny Weasley and Professor Slughorn too. And then one other Death Eater one as well. So it's two different designs of the, for the Death Eater. Yeah, I really like this one. Not interactive, but you know, it's free. And we'll definitely get through $300 worth of uh, merchandise oh, yeah. purchases. Easy, <laughs> too so, easy. <laughs> yeah, not, not a problem. Here we go. A beautiful song to signal the queuing up for Transformers. Only a 15 minute wait. But we were not always one Cybertron. Let's fall in and reward us being two soldiers. There he is, main man himself. Hello. He's come off the ride and there he is to greet us. It was a really good ride. What did you think of it? Yeah, I really liked it. We've not been on it since 2018 and it's a lot better than I remembered it being. Now I don't know. Yeah, now it's pretty close to Spider-Man, okay. I don't know. It's still Spider-Man for me. Yeah, I think it's still just about tops it, but I did enjoy it a lot. Okay, so we've had a good day at the park. Now we're going to go back to the hotel and fresh it up. Bugs. 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 We're going to freshen up and go to Disney Springs for some drinks and we've also got a full house reservation at 9 o'clock as well. Hey guys. Hi. So we're here at Disney Spring. Just about I'm thinking of going to Raglan Road for a little drink. Possibly. Yeah. 
So we booked him at the boathouse at 9 p.m. So we got a little bit of time just to have a look around Disney Springs before then, and then we'll take you along with us, whatever we decide to do, if we can find Raglan Road. It was raining on the taxi on the way here, but it's just stopped, and we are very, very thankful for this. Okay, so we're just in Raglan Road. I've gone for the Belgian Voodoo, which sounds very interesting. Uh, Laura's gone for the Angry Orchard in classic Laura style. Uh, we're chilling, we're having a good time. Yeah, we've never been in Raglan Road before, a bit of music on. Really like it around here. Blue videos we enjoy going into Irish pubs, so this one seems a little bit classier than <laughs> some of the Jewish we've yeah, been in, but yeah, love it all the same. Yeah, not sure if we've got any live music in here tonight. Uh, even if we do, I think we'll probably be gone by the time it arrives. But we'll try and catch a little bit of music if we can. Uh, a Belgian food around here. Yeah. It's strong. It's very strong. I didn't read it before we died. It's 8.5%. It was a panic, it was a panic order. <laughs> like, I just saw the first thing in order. going to give you a menu which is accessible on the My Disney Experience app but they also give you a menu which is dated today and it details all of the different oysters that are available for you to order on this day which is which is good to know. So we're sat down in Boathouse now, we've just got bread service come around, it looks amazing, we've also just got some water. Yeah, I'm trying oysters for the first time and Kyle is just explaining magnificently. Like, fantastic. He's there. He's yeah. there. I won't film him down in case you don't want to be in the video, but he's amazing. Yeah, um, so I'm going to get a couple of oysters just to start out. And uh, I'm going to go for the lobster roll or the shrimp and mac and cheese. What's it going to be? And I'm not getting a starter or anything and I'm too chicken to try the oysters. But I'm going to try the filet mignon sliders. They look really good in some videos I've seen. And I'm getting that very popular Instagrammable drink, the duck duck raz. Did you get a little rubber ducky? So our drinks have just arrived. I, like I said, I've gone for the one with the little rubber duck. And then Dane's gone for a very nice Pinot Noir, I believe. Yeah, I've gone for the, uh, gone for the second cheese. <laughs> Are you transitioning? Are you transitioning? I mean, I don't know if I put it that way. <laughs> what, into an adult? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And then again, I do have my uh, a little ducky. The oysters have just arrived. Yes, yeah, so the small one is called the Savage Harbour Blonde. Um, our server said that that is the easiest one to start with if you've never tried oysters before, which I've not. Um, and then the second one is a substitution for the Lucky Ducks, and this one is called the Prince Edward Island. They're both from Canada, so they should apparently taste the same. I'm just regurgitating the words from another man's mouth here at this point. Yeah, so this is a cucumber vinaigrette and this is a cocktail sauce. So let's. Oh, that's a fork. Uh, so let's. Alright. Bottoms up. Oh my god. That's really good. Really? That's really good. What's the texture like? It's like, um. The closest word I can use is rubber, but that has a negative connotation. I don't want to say rubber, I want to say like um, 
it's easy to eat, it's really, it's tender, it's tender. I don't know. Let me try another one. Let me get back to it. Does that taste any different to the first one? It's a lot more fishy. I want to stress that the texture is good. The taste is mild, actually. I love that. Really? Yeah, I love Would that. you get them again? Yeah. yeah. I'd get half a dozen there. Oh, wow. Yeah, I love that. Really love it. Ah, glowing review. So our mains have just arrived. This is my filet mignon sliders. So I get two of those and they've got... Was it something butter on it? And then Just loads of fries. Yeah. And then this is Dane's crab cake, which is seven pounds and six pounds of that is crab. This isn't seven pounds, just to clarify that. When they made the crab cake mix, six out of seven pounds is crab cake. It's crab. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. This isn't seven pounds of crab cake. I, I'm new here. <laughs> and then this is a creamy coleslaw. Yeah. Uh, Some cocktail sauce here. Cocktail sauce. And I think I've got either ketchup or barbecue or something like that. These chips look amazing. You might want to try some of these. So this is the crab cake. The cocktail sauce on there. Oh man, we're gonna come here again, I think. That is incredible. That is so look, good. Does it look, any look, look how flaky it is. It's like a circular crab. <laughs> it, it is just so That is delicious. It's a recommendation from my son, Kyle, and it's fantastic. So this is my slider, so I get two of them, and then it's a really nice chunk of meat there, a really nice piece of the filet mignon, nice chunky piece. <laughs> that is like incredibly tender. So it's cut medium and that is perfectly cut, look at that. Yeah, I've had a filet mignon once before and I hated it. This is amazing and I agree now, we should come back here, I love this. Everybody come here and get what we've got. We want to go, go home for the next time we go to Disney Springs, but not so sure. Now. You should come here, everybody come, come to the boathouse, it's so good. Hey guys, just realised that we didn't say the price of the full meal at Boathouse. So for Laura's cocktail, my glass of wine, a couple of oysters, and then the crab cake and the filet mignon sliders, the total was $86.80. But very good value for money, I think. We've just come for a quick pint of the Jack Lindsay's House IPA, which is very tasty, of course. Of course it is. Um, we've really enjoyed our evening. So good. I cannot get over the boathouse. If you've never tried oysters before, like, they do look pretty gross, but they are seriously very tasty. So, You'll have I to mean, take his word for it because I've still not tried There's probably them. a lot of people, there's probably a lot of people out there that's like, of course I've tried oysters, you really good. But i never tried them before. I'm and they're really good. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we've had an amazing... Oh. <laughs> What was that? Was that your phone? Please tell me that wasn't your phone. No, it was a bug. Where's my phone? Just dropped. I heard it just drop. Oh my god, that was close. Got it. That was definitely something I've got. I've got my phone with somewhat on my leg now. Anyway, that is us for over. Um, I thought phone... Dane's phone had just gone overboard then. We sat literally like if you. But yeah, we've had a brilliant time at Disney Springs. Definitely recommend coming here if you're coming to Orlando. We hope you've enjoyed watching our day today. If you have, please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up. And do subscribe to the channel for our future videos as well. Thanks for tuning guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. We have the fourth and fifth people in there. It was so good. We just ran to the arcade because it's absolutely started shutting it down. Yeah! Stop in at Moe's. Oh, here we've got the uh, Haunted Horseshoe. Great ride rockets just going around again now. More power.